Hello, Miao Mishi coming at you. Uh, thanks for watching my video and welcome to my channel. So today I'm coming at you with a kind of latest fashion pickup. Not really a haul, but just my latest things, collections. I've done a bit of shopping, quite a bit of shopping over the past month or so. So I thought it would be good to put it all into a video and kind of show you how I style it, how I wear it. And yeah, what do you guys think about the satin scarf on the head? Is it too like homey? I think it's quite cool. I like the shade, I like the colour and the shininess of it. But yeah, let me know what you think. So, let's start with sunglasses. You will have seen these everywhere on everyone. Um, it is these micro sunglasses, that trend that everyone is wearing. They're kind of useless but look quite cool. Um, as in useless, like they're not protecting your eyes. So I got these ones in black. I actually got these in like January, but it was like the weather in England was so crap. So I haven't really got to warn them, wear them until now. Just wear them low on your nose and like that. You see what I mean? Like they don't really protect your eyes, but they look cool. Pick for the ground. I got them in black and then I also got them in this classic brown tortoise shell. And they just look like this. They look cool. I'm not sure if they're too wide on my face though. They are quite wide. My face is quite round, but I'm not sure. This is a bargain. I got these for like three pounds or something off eBay. Um, I know shops like Pretty Little Thing and this guy that are doing them, but they sell them for like £14. So if you can if you can wait two weeks for posting, I would definitely pick these up. I'll leave a link down below uh, where you can purchase the same ones that I got. And yeah, that's the sunglasses. Next on AliExpress, start with what I'm wearing. It's just this, like an extreme cropped t-shirt, very oversized. Uh, yeah, looks like that. Um, and it says double on it. I just like the lettering, it's very, is it Jesus? It was Jesus, wasn't it? Where it had this kind of gothic -y writing on it. And it's like nice and oversized, yellow, great for the summer. It goes great against brown skin. I got this t-shirt, I got this in a size medium. I probably could have got a small in this, to be honest. Um, so if I do order from them again, I will probably get the small. So that's this. I also got a similar style top, but I got this red one here it just says range similar style as in it's very cropped like that um, with these stripe details down the side and nice wide sleeves again I got this in a size medium this fabric's a bit nicer than this one this is just a generic it's cut like a rough cotton and it's got a raw hem where it hasn't been it's just literally been cut whereas this one has actually been hemmed and stitched so yeah and again lovely nice and bright for the summer so yeah looking forward to wearing this and styling it with probably like wide leg jeans and some trainers obviously because it's me um, up next we have another it says there's a theme of things saying double on them I don't even know why like it's random double but I just got this cute crop top it's kind of like a racer front racer back very small very cropped I got this in a medium again in this tan nude beige color I think I love this color on dark skin because it just makes your melanin pop and just if you have a tan as well it just looks incredible so yeah that's this one Deadly. this is kind of Beyonce slash Vetements DHL inspired you've probably seen this going all around uh, AliExpress and websites it's just this little crop top that says boy bye so it's just a spaghetti strap crop top with thin straps I got this one in a size large um, I probably could have got a medium and it's very it's very small elasticated around the bottom and yeah so like I said it's the DHL kind of vitamins inspired with the red lettering and then the line going through it I'm selling these on my Depop as well if you're interested so yeah and finally from AliExpress this is something that's not me at all but I'm trying to branch out it's a red um, tracksuit kind of overhead we've got pullover pullover windbreaker jacket with elasticated sleeves and elasticated bottom with just this white detailing it's annoying i thought it was going to be a pocket there but there isn't but it's fine it's the end of the world and then does it have pockets no pockets on the side and then just the zip at the top yeah it's like very sporty sports casual i'm very much feeling the sports casual look at the minute so all of these pieces will kind of tie in obviously whether with trainers and some kind of 
probably like a cropped wide leg trouser high waisted one more thing this was from ebay as well you've probably seen this it's this inspired by the i am gia pixie coat it's just this teddy borg style jacket with like the square pockets and the zip the collar and just a lining on the inside I guess. I got this in a size small and as you'll see from the cutouts it's very oversized, it's really warm, comfy and cosy so definitely recommend this. Next up a piece from Manier de Bois, um, actually I've got two pieces from Manier de Bois. This first piece is a red skirt with a chain going through the front, very skater punk inspired. I'm also living for like skater punk like early 2000s vibe. It's like scissor meets Avril Lavigne. That's like my ideal look. Um, so it's these and I don't really wear colour. So this was like my introduction to colour. And this would probably go really well with the red with the red jacket that I showed you before or it might be too much. As you see it's got this silver hardware just with the chain going all the way through. And as I said it is a it is a skirt so you've got shorts built in to the skirt and it's in this kind of stretchy lycra material um, which is really comfortable. One annoying thing though is the chain. So when you take it off the chain always comes out and you have to unthread it but I mean that's minor. A second piece from Manier de Bois, carrying on with like the skater punk rocker theme is these kind of cargo pants with they've got an elasticated waist, um, this Manier de Bois tag, then a chain and then they're just kind of straight leg trouser, Let me lift them all the way up, the cuffs at the bottom and they're in this like really heavy duty cotton fabric which is really comfortable yet really flattering. I got these in a size 6 and I'm glad that I got them in a size 6 because they're still actually quite big. They've got pockets here, two pockets at the front and then just these fake pockets at the back. Up next I had a shop on the Weekday and Feeler collaboration collection and I had to stop myself from getting everything because it's just so like me that's just like sportswear that's like cool casual but still wearable outside the gym so blah 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 um i picked up three pieces from this first piece that i got were the i think they're called the acid joggers i got them in black and i wish i'd got them in white and they've not sold out so that's quite sad um yeah i'll show you these joggers i got them in a size extra small um and they're just joggers with the feeler logo then it's a, it's a strength and unity at the back um, and it's just elasticated with drawstring on the waist and then the leg, the detail, so we've got pockets on either side of the zips and then just this detail, I think it's reflective, but this detail on the leg and then it also says weekday on the back of the leg, you can see that and then just stretchy cuffs at the ankles with elastic and a toggle these are really good because I love wearing joggers but I find that it's hard fine joggers that actually flatter your figure so these are high waisted which is great and then that the waist is just really fluttering and the bum like it just makes your butt look amazing um so that you can pull them as tight as you want on your waist and then it kind of like i don't know it kind of you see it kind of curves and contours your bum so i mean these are incredible i've worn these like four times in the past week so that just so uh, goes to show how much i like them and they were on the expensive side everything in the collection was quite Pricey, so I'm gonna have to get a lot of work out of them. Oh, I forgot to mention, they've got these cool pockets on the side of the leg, so the Velcro, and then just a pocket to put, I don't know what you put in there really, but it's just a cool detail, and that's the same in both legs. So that's that. I got these cycling shorts, but I'm just a bit unsure on like how to wear them outside the gym. So I've, I've worn these to the gym because now it's getting warm, these are really comfortable, they're high waisted. Um, they've got a pocket here, your like maybe a zip pocket here, which you can maybe put your phone or your iPod in, and then a back pocket as well, maybe to put your keys on if you're going for a run, and then again it just says just says strength and unity, and then it's got the feeler waistband, and I also got them in the black here, they're exactly the same, just in black, and I actually haven't worn these ones yet, that's why they still got the tag in, um, but yeah, they're exactly the same. Uh, which is great. It's really good material for the gym. It keeps you cool. These are good finds. And if I can find the joggers in white, I mean, perfect. Carrying on the theme of sportswear, I got this Nike crop top. So it's just a spaghetti strap with a 
kind of cross back detail with a mesh, it's mesh at the back, um, adjustable straps which is great and then just the classic Nike swoosh on the front. This is so cute, like I don't think I would wear it in the gym because I need an actual sports bar when I work out but you know I love wearing sportswear outside of the gym so this is perfect, I just wear it with like an oversized shirt and then maybe the cycling shorts, I mean, maybe it's all just coming together and it's going to happen. I got this in a size medium so that's great. The thing that I got from ASOS is this uh, bralette. It's a strappy bralette with no under eye ring, so it's super, super comfortable. And it's just this lace detail here with like minimalist back, adjustable straps and butterfly clasps at the back. And it's actually in bra sizes, which is why I got it. Like if it was in a small, medium, large, I wouldn't have bought it because I need like, I've got a small back, but I have a big cup size. So I actually bought this in my normal size and it fits really well and it's super super comfortable. This is really comfortable, I would recommend it. It was only £14 so I might buy a new one. On two trousers we have a definite skater punk inspired kind of grungy emo vibe going on. Um, I've picked up quite a, few, quite a few pairs of trousers in the past month or so, um, so let's just go through them. The first ones I got were from Topshop. They're by the Ragged Priest and they're just these contrast stitch wide leg jeans, anything like that, all the way down. I did have to get them taken up because they were too long and I'm only like five foot two, but they've got this lovely wrinkle detail here on the waist and then just the Ragged Priest sign at the back and pockets and they kind of remind me of the ones from I Am Gia and I'm sure you've probably seen loads of celebs and people on Instagram wearing them. But these are slightly different. They're a bit more of a wide leg. So the IMG ones are more straight leg. These ones are a little bit more flared, so a little bit of a different twist, but you can pair them with vans or trainers or whatever. And just a little crop top, like a white tee, and I think that would look really cute with the summer. If you have a chain, you could attach that if you really want to go skater. I got these in a size 26, 26 inch waist. Um, they fit really well, really good quality, like, durable denim so good pickup. Up next we have, I got these trousers like probably before Christmas um, and they're one of my favourite trousers. They are and well, I've also been selling them on Depop and literally been selling off rails. I have a few pairs left so I'll leave my link to my Depop shop below and you can pick up some of my last pairs. They're again contrast stitch skater style trousers with like all this carabiner loop chain detailing. There was one on this side as well but I took it off because I didn't want, to want it on both sides. The belt loops have these buttons in which is a cute design and then orange contrast stitching and then again on the back and then it's got these horizontal lines going all the way down and these are straight leg, really comfortable, high waist and they're actually really flattering and really comfortable. The material is quite thin so they're probably they're going to work well through the spring and summer as well. And another piece from the same seller that I'm also selling on my Depop are these. They're still kind of the gothic. These are a bit more gothic than the other ones. It's these multi-zip pants with like, there's like 10 zips. And they're all functional, but it's all one pocket. But yeah, these trousers, they're so cool. They're a little bit heavier because of all the zips. Then cool lattice back, which is really unusual very kind of gothic inspired and yeah these are a similar fit to the other ones that I just showed you um, high rise waist and really nice shape like they really make you look like you have nice hips and a waist but these are like really one of my favourites go on my page and cop them if you want them because these will last you a long time final pair of trousers that I've got are from Bershka they're actually a pair of jeans these are the first things that I bought from Bershka um, surprisingly cheap as well they were only £20 and it's these Straight leg, high waist jeans, just pretty typical in classic denim colour. Oh, I've been ironed, I've just been sitting in my drawer. And a raw hem. I've actually cut this hem a little bit shorter, but it was raw to start with, so it doesn't really matter. And again, I've just wear with white trainers, crop top, and do I not wear a crop top? And yeah, nearly at the end now. Little cute side bag that I got from eBay, but it's from Uniqlo. Um, just like a pouch that you can go if you're going out and about. Going to a festival, you can just put your phone, keys, money in there. Final thing are these trainers. I wasn't sure about them 
when I saw when they first came out, but now they're really really growing on me. It is the Nike, uh, Nike Nike TN Silver. They're not silver bullets because the 97s are the silver bullets in this colorway, but they're just the TN Nike tuned with the bubble and the red tick. Silver detailing. These are really cool. Like these go with everything. I'm so glad that I bought them. I think they could be fake then because they were so cheap, but I mean they look good. They feel comfortable. And I could probably like wear these trainers with everything that I've shown you, so a good a good find, a good steal. So that's everything. Um, thank you for watching the video. Uh, make sure you're following me on Depop, it's just Miao Mishi, M-I-O-W-M-E-E-S-H-Y, and I've got the same handle for Instagram. Um, go give me a follow, see how I style all my items, see if there's anything that you like that I have for sale, I add new things weekly, so yeah, go and have a look. So yeah, go and have a look and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, what would you like me to film for the next one? Would you like more of a lookbook or more of a another haul video? Like, I I'm, I'm, want to grow this YouTube channel. So yeah, let's just grow together. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.